Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be talking about my favorite brow products. If you guys want to see what I love to use on my brows, just, just keep on watching. So we're going to start off with my favorite eyebrow product and it is the Dip Brow Pomade and I use the color Dark Brown by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I love this so much and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys should already know that I love Anastasia brow products. I'm always hashtagging Anastasia Brows, Anastasia Beverly Hills because I truly, truly love this product. This product lasts all day on me. I truly, truly love it. And um, this one, I apply it with an angled brush. This one right now that I've been using lately, uh, I don't even know what brand this is, but it's a, a dual ended brush. One end is has a spoolie and the other end is an angled uh, brush and it's thin and I just love it for actually for anything for brow any thin angled brush is great for brows either using a pomade or using the powder I love using this brush in particular but actually any double-ended eyebrow brush works just fine as long as it's soft and um, so this product, when I first purchased it, I was actually pretty upset because a little after I had purchased it, I felt like it started drying out. And I was so upset because I was like, how am I going to pay $21 for an item and then it's drying out? Like, I was so, so upset about it. And then um, I did see Anastasia talking about how to um, rehydrate the formula. And I still, like, I was like, oh, I'm not sure. I used to, no joke, when I used to get ready for, um, before work, when I was getting ready, I used to, like, tuck it in, like, to my bra so it'll start getting warm. Because if it got a little warm, it would, it would be a little smoother uh, for application and it wasn't as dry. But that only lasted um, a while. And then I felt like, because it was so thick, I was using up a lot more product than I should have. So then um, I decided to try out what she did say and so I bought this little bottle of baby oil <clears throat> and the bottle it comes um, with like a safety cap. I just poked a little hole on the safety cap just so that it wouldn't be like a big flow that would come out and just that with that little hole I'm able to just measure my drops that I'm putting in to um to the brow pomade so what i do is once it start drying out once it's starting to dry out which actually i can put a drop in here because it's a little bit it's still good but it is a little dry so i just put like a drop and then <clears throat> you can mix it with uh like a toothpick or you can mix it with your brush and i'm just gonna leave the oil in there for now and i'll just mix it tomorrow but um, I truly love this formula and let me see so I'm just gonna put a line it's pretty smooth and what I do is when I line my brows like first I like to line the bottom and then I line the top and then I just brush it out so if you brush it out with the spoolie it's not as dark and it's a lot easier to blend so, so this this is a product that I really like and I don't know if you guys can tell but it was a lot darker before so it's it's a really nice product and then um, just to clean it out if it if it looks a little messy I always use um, concealer to carve out my brows another alternative and a less expensive alternative to this one to the dip brow is actually from NYX and it is their Tame and Frame pomades as well. And um, here, I have I have a few actually, because I have these for my kit. This is in the color Brunette, and it's very similar formula. And the same, like, and so far, honestly, this one hasn't dried out as much as the, um, the Anastasia one did. Like I feel like the Anastasia one dried out a lot quicker, but I also don't use the NYX one as much, so that might also be why it hasn't really dried out as much. Tip is once you're doing your brows, as soon as you're done, make sure you cover these up. Like close them up real tight so that um, they don't dry out. If I'm not using gel for brows, I do like to use the um, 
the powders and I have this one in particular it's the Anastasia brow pro palette and you don't necessarily need this palette mm. they sell these individually but because I do freelance I wanted to have a palette that had all the colors and that was easy for me to travel with so this one is perfect for me for that but um, these are sold individually and these are 20 I believe they're $21 each since these pop out if I do ever run out of a color I can just pop them out and then get the new color and then just um, just pop it back in there Ooh, I scratched that one but um, yeah so in this one it comes with the brow primer and I actually honestly I haven't used that yet I haven't found a, a need for it but um, I like powder. The powders I normally use if I'm just going to be doing something really quickly, if I just want a more natural, a lighter brow, I will tend to grab this palette. And But I don't like it because it doesn't last as long on my eyebrows personally. I am a little bit more on the oily side. I'm not super oily, but I am oily enough that I feel like the brow powders in general, any brow powders normally don't last as long and that's why I truly love the pomades because these do last a lot longer on my skin. <clears throat> Another thing that I do like is I like the brow pencil from Anastasia so it's their um, their brow whiz pencil I love it love it love it so much I feel like it's so easy to apply um, your eyebrows like to, to draw on your eyebrows it's so easy but they're so expensive it's like $21 for a brow pencil it is very very smooth but because it's so smooth it runs out really really fast so it's not it's not long lasting so that's why I really like the brow pomade because I've had it for over a year and I still have product in here so I did I do still love the precision that you get from pencils so I was looking around for different pencils and I'm always changing my mind which pencil I like. I haven't been able to find one that I really really like and one that's very very comparable to the dip brow is this. So this is the NYX micro brow pencil and like I said I really like these because you can get really really thin and precise with these. So um, that's why I really really like this like so you can like feather your, your brow a lot better with um, the pencil and then it also blends out pretty nicely so this is also an alternative so if you guys are looking for a pencil in particular I do like this one and last but not least a favorite for brows is brow gels I love setting my brows especially if you have like long, longer brows that don't want to stay a certain way using a brow gel will really help when a year ago when I had lightened my hair originally when I got like the ombre which is it's already growing out my dip brow was a little darker like it looked a little too dark for my lighter hair so what I loved doing was I used to get the Anastasia and I actually don't have it with me right now but it's just identical so this one's a clear one I used to get the tinted one which was I believe in the color caramel and I used to um, set my brows with gel but because it was tinted it used to lighten them a little bit and I actually am wearing it today but I didn't grab that one right now I just grabbed the clear one but if you have a tinted brow gel so if you have a darker um, either eyebrow pencil or gel and you temporarily want to just lighten your brows just a little bit with a tinted gel you can do that and it just it looks awesome so this is another thing that I truly love and if you don't want to spend $21 which I do not um, like I totally agree with you because this is excessive it's really expensive you can use any clear brow gel and this one is from Wet and, Wet and Wild it's the mega clear gel so you can definitely use this to set your brows so any clear gel would, will work fine as well so, and for price comparisons, because I didn't tell you guys about the price, the Dip Brow from Anastasia normally re retails $18, which is this one once again, while the NYX Tame and Frame, it retails for $6.99. So, you get a lot more bang from your buck for this one, and it does work really well. 
So if you guys are interested in playing around with pomades and you're not sure if you're gonna like it, I suggest you can try um, purchasing the NYX one first. Try it out, see how you like it. You gotta get used to using, because um, sometimes it's a little tricky just because some people are used to pencil and since this is like a gel pomade form, I think you it will work out really good if you try this one out first and if you like it, you can go for this one if you want a, a splurge. So then the NYX uh, Micro Pencil, that one costs $9.99 compared to the Brow Wiz, which is $21. This clear gel, once again, it's $21. While you can get any other clear gel for sometimes even as little as a dollar or two dollars. And then these, individually, they are $21 as well. So roughly most of her brow products are $21 a pop for Anastasia. And I do love, love, love her products. Um, I just, I'm not going to say I'm not ever going to buy her brow with pencil again because I do love it. But I'd rather, but I'd rather spend on the dip brow and it'll last me a lot longer for the same amount of money than the pencil. So that's it, those were my favorite brow products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys found it useful. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you did like my channel, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button down below. And I hope everyone has an awesome, awesome new year. Happy new year, it is the first today. I don't know when this video is gonna go up. Maybe it's gonna go up tomorrow. So when you guys see it, it might be the second. But either way, I hope everyone has a beautiful new year and I hope everyone gets a ton more blessings than last year. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye you guys!